I want to say good afternoon to everyone and welcome to the official groundbreaking ceremony for Dr. Mona Jane Middle School. Thank you. Uh, my name is Michael Barber, and I'm the Communications Director for the School District of Manatee County. And uh, one of the more remarkable things that I learned uh, in my uh, almost 20 years of being connected to the school district is that there are people in this community who enjoy spending time with middle school students. That's pretty amazing. I've, I've met them, but they devote their lives to working with students when they're going through some of the most awkward and uncomfortable times of their lives and they do a great job with it and they love it so and in fact Dr. Mona Jane it's so appropriate that the school is named after her because she worked uh, as a teacher in a middle school uh, as well as a high school here so um, we are very thankful for those people who dedicate their lives to the students who are in middle school. So my job today is to introduce those people uh, who made this possible and for the reasons that we're here. And I first want to thank uh, the group of people who organized this event. And I want to start off by thanking uh, Deborah Perry Gambino. She couldn't be here today, but uh, she is uh, out with the flu. But uh, she was uh, definitely a big, uh, uh, a big cog in making this come together. Also, we have Linda Lambert. We have. Melissa Parker, Pam Miller, and Kelly Collins. Is Kelly here? Okay. All right. Uh, second, I'd like to thank uh, MSTV for being here today. We have Nick Batchelder and Brian Stedman here uh, for MSTV. Now I'd like to introduce those people whose uh, work had a direct impact on transforming the need for a new middle school here in this part of the county uh, into a reality. So from the School Board of Manatee County, I'd like to introduce uh, Board Chair Dr. Scott Hopes. I want to introduce uh, Vice Chair Gina Messenger, who uh, has the best reason uh, possible for not being here. Uh, she gave birth to a daughter yesterday, right? Yes. This happens to be her district, so uh, uh, we wish her and her husband, Matt Messenger, who is with MSTV, uh, the very best in what they're going through right now. And so uh, also uh, we have board member Dave Watchdog Minor. Okay. Thank you. From the uh, school district of Manatee County, we have our superintendent, Dr. Diana Green. We have our Deputy Superintendent of Business Services and Operations, Ron Serrana. We have our Deputy Superintendent of Instructional Services, Cynthia Saunders. Our Executive Director of Secondary Education, Jim Pauley. Jim. Our Chief Operations Officer, Sandra Ford. Our Director of Construction Services, Jane Dreger, who also could not be here today. Uh, Mike Penley, our Executive Planner. Our Project Director, Reggie Goff. And our Project Assistant, Laura Bartels. Also, uh, I want to thank uh, the President and CEO of the Manatee Chamber of Commerce, Jackie Dazelski, for being here. Thank you. And also, uh, the team from Har Harvard Jolly Inc. Architects. If you could raise your hands. Okay. And the team from Willis A. Smith Construction. Uh, we also have some uh, family members of Dr. Mona Jane uh, and uh, friends, special guest, uh, which include her husband, Kalish Jane, daughter, Dr. Anila Jane, who 
is also being celebrated today. You're being in, in, inducted into the USF Hall of Fame. Wow. Quite a day for the Jane family. Then uh, we also have a, a special guest of the Janes, and uh, that's Raj and Rima Mather. <laughs> Diana Michael. And William Mariotti. So to really get us started, uh, I'd like to call up uh, uh, for a few comments, Superintendent Diana Green. Good afternoon. On this wonderful, beautiful, warm day, it is a perfect opportunity for us to do a groundbreaking and to celebrate uh, the opportunity for students to continue to grow and be inspired in this soon to be beautiful facility. But really, I want to focus on Dr. Mona Jane. Dr. Mona Jane was born in India. She was born, excuse me, I had to decide whether to wear my reading glasses or sunglasses, and sunglasses <laughs> won, so forgive me, because <laughs> this is really small. <laughs> um, <laughs> She is both a medical doctor and an educator. She came to the United States in 1964 on my first uh, birthday. Uh, <laughs> she taught. <laughs> Dr. Jane taught at Bayshore Middle School and Bayshore High School. She was a mentor to students, teachers, and staff members. She was a strong advocate for inspiring young women to be interested in science and math. After leaving education, she served as the Director of Family Health Services for Manatee County's Head Start program. Florida Governor Lawton Childs appointed her to serve on the Florida Commission on the Status of Women. She is a Fulbright Scholar and a winner of the University of South Florida Distinguished Alumni Award. But more importantly, she is just a wonderful human being. She is a person who gives her heart and dedication to whatever she seeks to do. I can tell because I see it in her husband as he looks at her. I can tell as I see it in her daughter as she beams with such pride. And I can tell from her family and friends who are here to celebrate this school named in her honor. So I am going to uh, dedicate the few minutes I have over to our special guest today, the guest of honor, Dr. Mona Jane. Thank you. Honorable school board members, superintendent, and all who are here today, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm honored, humbled, touched, and blessed to live in Manatee County. Today is a significant day, not only that uh, for the middle school, but I got first my job in Bayshore Middle School on Friday, 30th and 13th. <laughs> and today is also 13th. So uh, remember superstition was there, hotels never built 13th floor and all that. But it has been always a lucky day. And of course, March 13th, you all were kind enough to vote also. This, this school is not dedicated to one person. I am dedicating to everybody who believes in education, and especially to the educators of the past, present, and future. It's a calling. We don't look at the dollar value. We look at the future generations when they do well and become the productive citizens. Passing of referendum. We voted yes. We need to keep on working on it again so that we progress with positive things. Things happen up and down. I think we should be optimistic and move on. 
So I thank again the present people who are really doing something for us. Uh, I say education is always child-centered and family-based and community-based. One person can not change. Maybe he or she can change one thing at a time. But when we, all of us work together, I think when the things happen, diversity, inclusion, tolerance, all these are the things we need to learn. And I feel that unity in diversity is the best thing. Look here in diverse group we are living and the people here who believe in, and one thing I am proud that Manatee County school system is on the national map now. I got call from people saying that my daughter read an article in California. Another one brought uh, an article from New York, New Jersey about Manatee County school system. So I'm really proud for that reason that we live here. And it's always not living but giving back, which I was taught by my parents. Number one, they said believe in education. No one can steal it from you. The more you share, the more it grows. And for our generations, I say always to higher horizons. And again, I'm grateful to all of you for coming, and especially a sense of appreciation to my husband. He knew when he married me that I'm a lifelong learner. So <laughs> and I could, have done, could not have done anything without his support. And of course, my daughter is the product of Manatee County public school system. And I'm so proud that she got the mentors, educators, that she is settled in life and hopefully giving back to the community, which she is doing. And then Diana and others are here. I always say that pass on the baton to the younger generation, sit back, and take all the glory. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to ask one question from Mr. Nathan, yes, Carr, uh, and Mr. Mike Barber. Your staff can help you. <laughs> See, teacher never goes away <laughs> from you. Uh, when you were clearing this site, did you see any alligator, or did you find any alligator? Yes and no answer. Yes. Did you find? Yes. One? OK. Two or three. Two, three. OK, good. Before, now, no. Right? <laughs> OK. Before, what there? The reason I'm asking, I was teaching biology class. I won't take your time, just finish with this. I was teaching biology class, and there was a sophomore student. I still remember his name, Alvin. And his cousin was visiting, and we used to allow the student to come if they are out of town. So his cousin was visiting. I won't name the state. And he asked me in class, he says, Miss Jane, I heard that you have cobras in your backyard. So I said, before I said, let me answer, my student turns to me and says, Miss Jane, can I answer this question? I said, sure, go ahead. He says to him, his cousin, do you see alligators in our backyard? or in neighbor's yard, he said, no, of course alligators are there, cobras are there, but not in the backyard. So see, this is how you uh, help one, and that person passes on to 2,500 and plus people. So again, thank you so much, and I appreciate everything you do. I have no words, really, but I'm really touched. Thank you, Dr. Jane. And now uh, for a few words, our school board chair, Dr. Scott Hopes. 
Thank you, and uh, welcome all of you on this good afternoon on Lucky Friday the 13th. I mean, I wrote all this out that I've, I've known Dr. Jane for like decades, and never, 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 ever would I have dreamed that, that I would be here actually talking with you as we name the Dr. Jane, Dr. Mona Jane Middle School. Um, and really for that, I, I am humbled to be speaking today in honoring Dr. Mona Jane. As we turn the ground over which will be the Dr. Mona Jane Middle School, I am confident the students who will enter these soon to be built doors as young adolescent sixth graders will leave as confident teenagers eager to continue the quest for knowledge and ready for high school because they will be inspired by the story of the accomplished Dr. Mona Jane. A USF bull, by the way. Go Bulls, go Bulls. These students will know what a Fulbright Scholar is and how becoming one opens a world of knowledge and contribution because they will know the story of Dr. Mona Jane. These thousands plus students a year will know the story of a young immigrant woman from India who came to this area as a Fulbright Scholar to teach in Riverview and settled in Manatee County. They will know of her contribution as both a teacher and an education administrator for American, British, and Indian educational systems. Thousands of students will learn that Dr. Jane is a Fulbright Scholar and a winner of USF's Distinguished Alumna Award and USF Sarasota Manatee's Distinguished Professional Achievement Award. Dr. Jane earned a PhD in interdisciplinary education and education leadership from USF and earlier received an MD from Spartan Health Sciences University School of Medicine and an education specialist degree in administration and supervision from NOVA. These students will know Dr. Jane also has an MS in science education from Florida State University. Go Seminoles. <laughs> I, it was painful to put that in there. Uh, a, a, a bachelor's in education in, in biological and health sciences from Delhi University and a bachelor of science in biology, chemistry, and history of sciences from Delhi University. When the students of this soon-to-be-built middle school go through orientation and learn the story of Dr. Mona Jane, they will know that they, too, can achieve great things through knowledge attainment and the American dream can be achieved through the doors of Dr. Mona Jane Middle School. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hopes. And now we have uh, from Harvard Jolly Architects, Steve Johnson. Thank you. Uh, members of the board, uh, Dr. Green and uh, Dr. Jane, um, thank you so much for this opportunity to be your architect. And, and to Dr. Jane, your, uh, thank you for all that you have done, you continue to do, and your words of um, optimism. And if I think of a, a kind of a team, an inclusive team environment, it's, it's a design process, architecture, construction, all of that comes together. But most importantly, the leadership of the district um, inspired us, so I hope that we honored your your words of inclus inclusion, and and that is all coming to fruition out here on the on the uh, on the dirt here today. Um, this not, we don't always have this opportunity to have such an inclusive design process, but the leadership of the district uh, really ensured that we we wanted to have that throughout the entire process. And what that means is that not only is uh, the school going to be a safe and secure environment for the students, parents, the community at large, um, but also will be a, a, a gleaming 21st century, modern, um, technology-rich environment for all of these, these students over the years to enjoy. Um, so again, um, we're looking forward to the completion of the project under the watchful eye of, of Willis Smith, and uh, we appreciate the opportunity from everyone at Harvard Jolly 
our entire team. We appreciate the opportunity to be a small part of, of this large project. Thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. And now uh, from Willis Hay Smith Construction, the Vice President, Nate Carr. Good afternoon, everyone. We're excited to have you all here with us today. Our firm has worked with the district for over 30 years. I've managed several of these projects and we've done some exciting work with y'all, but I can truly tell you that this is the project we're most proud of so far. This middle school will be quite a, quite a landmark in Lakewood Ranch and comes at an important time of growth for our community. We were honored to be selected for this and we're excited to have it underway. We take great pride in our local roots. My house is five miles from here. Several of my partners live in the same radius and five members of our project team live in Manatee County as well. One thing we work very hard on is to make sure as many dollars of the project stay in the local economy as possible and contribute to our community while we still make sure we deliver the best value for the district. In this case, we were able to bring the project in under budget as well as still have three quarters of the work performed by subcontractors based in our area here. The Manatee Chamber and the EDC will tell you this is very important. Each of those dollars gets respent about seven times, not only invigorating our local economy, but putting money back into the district itself, which is important. We're particularly honored to be building this school in Dr. Jane's name. Several of the people who spoke before me have spoken of her contributions and achievements today. But what resonates most with us is her attention to STEM subjects and careers and how she's helped young ladies reach higher in their careers and lives. We have several female project managers amongst our ranks, and actually three of them are from India, and we share Dr. Jane's commitment to ensure their success. Thank you again to the district for selecting us for this project. We can't wait to have everyone back for the grand opening. And once we're done turning dirt over here, we've got, we brought several extra site vehicles out and we can take everybody on a quick tour of the site in just a few minutes piece. Um, we got three of them so we can get it done fairly quickly for anyone who would like to go. Thank you. Great, thank you, Nate. And now uh, we're at the time where we're gonna turn some dirt. So if y'all can make your way over to the shovels.